there will always be a time when you think you're on top of everything. When you believe you're unstoppable and that nothing can bring you down. But everybody has an Achilles seal. And it's that exact feeling of invincibility that will, in the end, knock you right down to the very bottom of the ladder when you least expect it. It's your fatal, tragic flaw. And the worst part of it is that most of the time, you won't even know it. In the middle of desperate times during my sophomore year of high school, I snatched a copy of my teacher's answer key from one of his upcoming math tests. I thought nothing of it, but some of my other peers noticed and asked for some help. Instead of just giving them the packet, I gave it to them at a price. Twenty dollars and it was theirs to take home. And the teacher, whose sense of awareness to his surroundings frightened us all, was none the wiser. This operation of stealing answer keys and flipping them to needy kids who didn't do their studying the night before then became something of a business for me. The teachers who had answer keys also had students who needed the answers, and I, Sam Rosenthal, became their go-to man to retrieve them. It seems risky, but as long as you knew the teacher's schedule to a degree, then you could just go in and whisk it away, and they'd think they misplaced it themselves. And the kids didn't care about paying for it, grades were more important to them. And do or disagree, that's why we go to school, after all. I had a small crew of three I trusted who helped me out when it became too much for one man alone to handle. First off was George Summons, who was a smart, bossy son of a gun who worked his ass off to make ends meet. I trusted him with setting up deals and mapping them out to a T so that there were almost no parts unaccounted for that could cause us trouble. Then there was Dean Russo, a calculated and precise worker who was second to me in the holding. He checked over all of George's work and made sure things were running smoothly when I wasn't around. He could have been the leader if he really wanted to, but he said he had no reason to. And then there was Greg Lopez, a very loyal and trusted ground worker who carried out nearly the whole damn thing exactly how it was planned. No deviations. It was a risky operation. Getting caught could get you a suspension or, worse, an expulsion. But he was very slick and careful. He could slip away without making a sound. Alright guys, let's get to work. We've got a main setup for us at 5, and it's just in time for the busy season 2. George, what's our status? We've got a couple people need an honors pre calculus answer key for an upcoming test they have scheduled this Friday, and it's good to see you back, Sam. Thanks, George. D! We had to hold our meetings and stuff somewhere where we could blend in without having to hide out in an empty, decaying laundromat during school, so we let our art teacher, Mr. M, in on the business. For a generously small fee, we got a free period and a nice hideout room to make our plans in. And the only reason why we got into the business in the first place was because our school's principal was in a tight spot where he needed some real work done to the school's performance. The only problem? The tests were in less than a week, and he was just a one-man band in his operations. God knows what his peers might have thought of him if they found out what he was planning on doing. So, along with whatever cryptic stuff he did on his own time, he came right to us for help. Sam, we're in a pickle here. The state testing, I have no idea how we didn't know about it, and, and, and how we weren't prepared, but I need your help. I desperately need your help. I think I can figure something out. Really? That is so awesome. Thank you so much, Sam. This is great. Okay, so you're telling me we have four days, excluding today, to steal this answer key from Mr. Wilson and get into Justin and the guys? Yeah, periods two, four, five, and seven, at least during life. What a sloppy teacher he is. All the better for us. Uh, Greg, you think you can get that son? No problem, friendo. Good. And get your feet off the table. This isn't a damn sawdust joint. Sorry. Well, I would suggest that you try to do this later in the day, specifically because we're going to have that assembly tomorrow. I would suggest that you go for the period 5 and 7 gap. It'll buy us a little bit more time, and hopefully the teacher will be a little bit more relaxed. I don't know about that, man. I mean, it's on the fact that both the door is unlocked, that the answer key is still on the desk, and that, most importantly, nobody's in the classroom. 
I don't know. I, I think we should stick to the original plan. I mean, I know it's tighter, but like, more chance of success, you know? Alright, Greg, you think you can pull that off? Yeah. Alright, guys, let's get to work. Oh, Sam. Uh, I want to talk to you about something. I heard there were some people outside the school, some good for nothing flax looters. Uh, they want to rat us out for our business. Um, Mr. F Mr. Sanchez told me, you know. And I, I, I figured I'd bring this up with you because obviously this is a pretty big matter. What do you What do you want to do? Okay, we can't have that. Dean, we can't have that. Okay, I need to go out into the field. I need to gather the guys. You need to shut this down as quickly as you can. You got it? Sam was clearly getting it in over his head by this point. He was just making everything harder for us to do because he wanted to do things his way, regardless of our input. And then I had to tell him about Steve Wiley. He was some punk hotshot who wanted it all in exchange for nothing. And when I told Sam that this group wanted to merge with us, he really lost it. You can't have a merger. I don't care what you do, just get them off my back. I can't deal with this right now. So what is it you're asking for here? All I'm asking is 20% of the cut. I noticed that you guys have been real reckless lately, and that's not good for business. Look, I mean... I don't know. There's no competition with us, right? This thing is Rockefeller competitive. Um, the other problem is we can't really divvy up our cuts. I mean, what we earn on a weekly basis fluctuates very drastically. But um, I suppose we can do, I can give you the 20%, and um, that comes around to 100 bucks if we make 500 a week, flat. And um, I can give you that. But after that, I want no more beef between us. We work together on the same, same basis. We have no problems with each other. You got it? Deal. All right. You what? What do you mean what? I mean, you asked for me to work things out with them in the first place so that we wouldn't have to worry about them constantly. They get a bit of the money, and in return, we don't have to worry about them. They're on our side. I told you to take care of them, not kiss their shoes. These guys are just gonna sit on their asses all day while we do all the work, and they're gonna make half the profit. <laughs> are you kidding me? You asked for me to work things out with them, and this is how you repay me? I mean, I, I, like, look, we kick up a bit of money to them, right? And then we don't have to worry about them anymore. This is exactly what you asked for me to do. Look, Dean, I call the shots around here. You sit in the corner doodling in your little notebook. I hope you know that I can kick you off this team anytime I want, and when I do, I promise you will pay like hell for it. You know, I don't think you realize just how much of this operation, this whole operation of success is attributed to me. Maybe I don't, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm the head chef, and you're the janitor. And I'm calling this whole thing off. Steve? It's off. Now screw off! 
But the worst came the next morning when they found Greg lying face down in a parking lot, battered and beaten badly. It shocked all of us, but especially Sam. Nobody could understand what he did to deserve such brutality. But we knew there was only one man responsible for such a heinous crime. What do you guys want? I don't have much time here. Sam began to get really irate at this point, especially when he found out that George was making deals behind his back. They're and conducting deals behind my back. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm just doing the deals that are the safest for us. I'm just trying to keep us in business. You're keeping us out of it. Okay, I, I'm driving us out of the business, George. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be in this business. I gave Sam the news that Greg would recover, but he would be out of action for a while. And in the meantime, it was up to us to fill in his position. Or, should I say, Sam. There was no question about it. He was artless. I mean, any one of us could have done better. But it was his call. George, come on, man. You gotta get stuck. Go. I don't wanna fight. Things were getting so bad that he was starting to argue with the people who were trying to do business with. What are the answers? These are not the answers. Those are the answers. Those are the answers. No, they're not. I don't know what these are. These are answers. They gave you answers. These are answers. This is nonsense. It's answers! I don't see what the problem is. No, don't ever do it. I just can't deal with this anymore. I am doing so much work. You guys are just sabotaging every single move. I don't even know why I keep either of you on the team. You are useless to me, completely useless. I mean, oh my god! What I miss? What did you miss? What did you... You know what? It doesn't even matter. We just... We need you in the field right now. Go! Go! Now! By the time Greg did get back, things were really on the rocks. In addition to the ongoing Sam and Steve feud from before, the answer keys were getting harder and harder to get. Sam? No! Sam is in his office. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Very. Thank you. No, no, no problem. Put back. Oh god, I messed up. Hey, Dave. Look, man, we, we gotta have a talk. I'm all ears. Look, I've, I've been thinking and... Never I, I, I haven't been the best leader lately. Yeah, we knew that. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, you were right. I've been doing this team dirty, and... I'm calling it off. I'm done. Buck stops here? Yeah, man, you know, I, I got a lot of heat on my back, and I, I just want to get away from it all. I think it's about time. Alright, well, it's been fun. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. Some good times. Don't let the door hit you on the way out.
And now it was inevitable the way he was running everything into the ground. Something had to be done. You never did listen, did you? The final curtain. Take him out. My friend. So I stepped in, pulled a few strings behind his back, and made sure I had a handle on things. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. Regrets, I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do, saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step. Along the byway, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew when I bit off more than I could chew, but through it all. 